Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, first I need to let you know something. When I play music in the background, you guys have heard me play music in the past before, then all of a sudden, now the music is too loud. It's not done by me. There is no changes made on this system by me, which would allow the music to be blaring like you've heard it on some of the videos. You see, if you watch the videos, those of you who have some sense, you will see that my videos, pay attention, because it's very important that you pay attention, you will see that my videos don't have that issue. Sorry, we were doing a consult today and I was showing people some UCC 9 dash, you know, blah, 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 blah. I had an individual email me talking about how much it gave him a headache. Now, uh, what did Tupac talk about giving up? I'm sorry. Uh, because I couldn't care less. I don't care whether or not something gives you guys a headache. You don't call me. You don't email me. You don't text me complaining what an attitude. Because you will get what you give. That is a guarantee. And then I will excommunicate you from any association with any of my sites or my person. Please understand, there's too much going on. I ain't got time for your, 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 your petty ante stupidity. Yeah, 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 you heard what I said. If you got a problem with something, deal with it on your own. Handle it yourself. If there's a problem on my end, I will take care of it. That's my job. But don't come at me with attitude. And you, 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 uh, entitled YouTube people and you know the ones who I'm talking about know who I'm talking about the ones who got an opinion and just got to tell somebody their opinion y'all can stay away from me because I ain't got time for your opinion you keep your mother um, excuse me your opinion to yourself I don't want to hear it I, I'm that's why the comments are turned off I apologize apparently some people can't get the hint some people can't get the message so what's happening right now ladies and gentlemen is I am deleting um, videos now I, I want to check something because this video right here you have the right to your absolute bare necessities I want to check to see if it's the same problem with this video as with the others because that problem started all of a sudden. It wasn't there before, but then all of a sudden, there it was. So, let's see. And the Bare Necessities video, you, you definitely got to check that out, okay? This afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I got two stories I want to tell you about. I told you guys about the one story where, you know, the ladies guy calls me. Hold on. We got to go a little bit further because I got to just check the scene. You've been conditioned... To believe that there is justice in the United States. No, wait, hold on. Ladies and gentlemen. Do you hear how soft Tupac is in the background? Hold, hold on, Eon. We'll get with you in a second. Uh, do you hear that? Tupac in the background. I listened to that video afterwards. No problem. The other videos, the volume is blaring. And it's louder than me. But you saw me turn down the volume on the video. So I want you all to understand something so that you get it. That's not being done by me. What I want you to know is the particular video I told you about that took, <laughs> it said it was going to take three hours for it to upload and I can't show it to you because, oh yes I can, I, no I can't, I can't close this out. Yes I can, I have to refresh the screen uh, because it's deleting the music on this particular video. Okay, but just so you guys understand. But I told you guys about the guy who called me, uh, asked me for some advice. I gave him free advice. I told him because they, you know, said they had camera footage showing he did something. They were going to use the camera footage as a witness. And I basically told him what he needed to do. Ladies and gentlemen, he listened and he did it. And he got to go home. Do you think he called me to thank me? No, he called me to tell me he wanted to sue SACOM. For what? Because he thought when he was with SACOM that we discriminated against him. 
I have no idea what the, he's talking about. Literally, I honestly have no idea what the he's talking about. But that's what he said. But then, yet, if we discriminated against you, why are you calling me asking me for help? Yeah, it won't let me get rid of that song. And some of them, that's the case. Some of them, it won't let me do that. See, this one says the music is all the way through, and that's probably because I see why it won't let me, because the music goes on for a little bit longer than three minutes. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, I might be able to delete it tomorrow because it's probably also playing the other video. That's, that's the problem. But anyway, let me see if I can point this out because it's necessary that y'all understand what's going on. A young lady had a consult with me a couple of weeks ago and she told me they repossessed her car. I said, well, you need to go get your car back. And she was going through foreclosure. I said, well, look, since you have less than a week to do your foreclosure, you're gonna file for bankruptcy. And you're gonna do chapter 13 and you're gonna schedule everything under schedule F as in Frank as non-secured. I said they're going to knock they're going to not like the fact that you're doing it as non-secured, but you're going to hold to your guns and say this is all non-secured unsecured debt. And I said in the moment that is the case what you are going to do is you are going to pay attention. You are simply going to go and get your car back. Why would she get her car back? How could she get her car back? Ladies and gentlemen, it's simple. When you file bankruptcy, all debt collection activities are suspended. They cease. Well, holding on to your car, let me get rid of that. Holding on to your car is a debt collection activity. Say what? Holding on to your car, even if they got it and they're getting ready to sell it. Holding on to your car is a debt collection activity. So they cannot hold on to your car. Let's let, wait, 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 wait. We can go to this one right here. Right here. Right here. Go to go right here and right here. Notice these are all the cases that talk about it. Let's go to the top one because the top ones are the, the ones that are on point. But we're going to stop right here. Prohibited collection activities are listed in the bankruptcy code 362. Common examples of prohibited actions include contacting the debtor by telephone mail or otherwise to demand payment taking action to collect money or obtain property from the debtor repossessing continually ing means continuing a debtor's property starting or continuing a lawsuit or foreclosure repossession and garnishing or deducting a debtor's wages those are all things that are prohibited under the bankruptcy code. So, ladies and gentlemen, somebody repossess your car, go get your car back, and then go to Amazon and do what I did. I, I don't I don't really need it, but I got it just in case. And get yourself one of those GPS tracking devices so that you can, uh, GPS tracker locator devices, so that you can find the GPS on your vehicle and remove that junk so that they can't just be sending somebody with a GPS locator to find your vehicle. Okay? Save you a whole lot of trouble. Remember, bankruptcy creates an automatic stay. Too many people are losing their homes and losing their cars because they don't understand the simplicity. Well, that's gonna be, it's gonna affect, mother, it already affected your mother. Oh, God! Sorry. Y'all can see how much people get on my last nerve. It's gonna affect my credit. Your car just got repossessed. What the is following a bankruptcy going to do to your credit now? No, 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 no. Sit down and shut up. It's going to affect my credit. Yeah, my car just got repossessed and I don't want to file bankruptcy because that's going to be on my credit. You, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, they can't report bankruptcy on your credit. Nobody can report bankruptcy on your credit. Go and look at the Fair Credit Reporting Act. Fair Credit Reporting Act. Reporting on credit. Fair Credit Reporting Act. Only the creditor can report a debt. They are the only ones who can validate a debt. Nobody else. Ladies and gentlemen, the bankruptcy court is not a creditor. And because you filed bankruptcy, no creditor can report your bankruptcy on your bankruptcy filing because it has nothing to do with your debt. You're filing bankruptcy. They cannot report it on your credit report because 
the creditor and the bankruptcy are two separate issues. It's not part of the debt collection practices for the creditor, according to the Fair Credit Reporting Act. So the bankruptcy cannot be reported on your credit. <sighs> now, ladies and gentlemen, this very same lady who I did the consult with sat up and listened to one of my videos. And guess what she did? No, 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 guess what she did after she listened to the video? Y'all gonna be surprised at this, I promise you. She went and did what she heard on the video, ladies and gentlemen, and she got a 200 point bump on her credit profile. 200 points! And all of those debts she had on her credit profile, gone! Oh, snap. Now, some of you going to want me to tell y'all what video she went and watched, and that ain't going to happen. I told her we could tell everybody else how to do it again, and they, they'll all jump on it now because they see somebody else. And they didn't even see. They just heard that somebody else was able to get their credit cleared. But I ain't doing that. We're going to start a program over at SACCOM. That's right. Y'all heard me. We're going to start a program. And I brought her on to the team. Last week, I told her, I said, no, I'm thinking I'll bring you on to the team. Why? Because she listened and followed instructions. I love people who know how to follow instructions and know how to listen. And she listened and followed instructions. And guess what? She don't think like the rest of y'all. She ain't trying to go out there and make money. You know, she wanted to provide information to you guys for free. And I told her, no, because if you do that, you provide a template and then it'll stop working. I said, no, what we're going to do is we're going to do it a different way. And I'll be introducing to the, that to you guys soon. So just sit back, stay tuned, get ready, and, you know, so on and so forth. Ladies and gentlemen. I do this at no cost. Why? Because there are a lot of people out there who want me to go out there and make commerce. Want me to go out there and do commerce? I don't do commerce. My salary is deferred with the company, so I volunteer, and I don't have an income. All of the consults are for the company, not for me. You're paying the company for my time because you're taking my time away from the company. So let me tell you what else went on. There was another young lady. She did a consult, and she told me, she says, hey, I'm having problems. I had this company come over and do my sewer, and they repaired my pipes. Well, for the last three years, those pipes have been leaking, and I got sewer in my basement, and they haven't come to do anything. They haven't repaired the damage or nothing, and there's about $50,000 worth of damage. I said, really? I said, so hold on, and we called the company right then and there. It was a Saturday, and they told us that they would have somebody call us back, and they called us back today, and I told her, I said, look, I got a consult, and I got to do this trade, but I will call you as soon as all that's over. The company called me up, and I called her up, and we had some problems connecting everybody, but we finally got in touch with everybody, and I told them what the issues were. We did the power of attorney right there on the telephone, and they are going and taking care of business. Now, mind you, the same thing with the young lady. We only talked about this. I had her send the paperwork on Saturday. No, Saturday, yes. I called her this morning. She said that uh, the one with the automobile said that she'd been trying to contact them and they've been ignoring her. I told her, nah, -uh, hold on. Sorry, my voice recognition just came on. Let me turn it off. She said she's been trying to contact them and they've been ignoring her all week. I mean, all week she's been trying to contact them and they've been ignoring her. I said, well, don't worry about it. We'll call them now. And that's exactly what we did. We called them at that very moment. She called them and they kept going. They kept giving her the runaround because, you know, she put her phone number in. And they kept hanging up on her or telling her to hold and giving her the runaround. I said, uh-uh, that's not the executive office. I said, we're going to call the executive office. So... Guess what? Every number we found on the internet was a regular 800 number. I said, that's not the executive office. I can tell. I can look at those numbers and tell they're not the executive office. So she told me she tied it up a couple other numbers. I said, give me a second. I went to their website, and I found the executive office number, and I called that. We ended up speaking to the right department after I told them exactly who I was and what I was about. I'm about it, about it, Master P. Uh, anyway, and they put me to the right department, and I told the guy, told me who he was. And I, I didn't give them the time of day. Treated them like a, a five-year-old, like I treat the rest of y'all. And so what I did is uh, I told him who I was and what, what this was about. And he, well, I need to verify the account. No, 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 no. You better take a look at those notes. We've already been verified. 
Don't you understand? That comes from the Consumer Protection Act of 1976. You only get to verify us once. We are transferred in queue. We didn't call you directly. You can see we were transferred in queue. So take a look at the notes. Yeah, I see the notes. Well, then fine. Then you know we've already been verified, so ain't no reason to verify, and I'm only going to authorize her to do blah, 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 blah. And finally, we got past that. I said, she's been trying to get her car from you guys, and you guys have been ignoring her. I just need to know why. Why are you ignoring the automatic stay created by the bankruptcy? He says, sir, can I put you on hold while I look at it? And yes, go right ahead. You most definitely can put us on hold. So he put us on hold for about 10 minutes. Came back, said, sir, I, I am sorry. Can I get your phone number? I said, yeah, you can get my, well, I said, no, uh, no, go ahead. And uh, you guys, you can put us on hold again. Because I thought he was asking to put us on hold again. So you most definitely can put us back on hold. He says, no, 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 I'm asking if I can get your phone number. I said, yeah, here's my phone number. He says, look, we will call you in two days to let you know where she can pick up her car because I've already sent the order for releasing the vehicle, and so it'll take two days. I said, no problem. <sighs> so there's your two success stories. Ladies and gentlemen, I can do this stuff all day, but I don't have the time. Too many people. So I'm focusing on the courts, and I'm focusing on lawsuits, and I'm focusing on trial by juries. I don't want a trial by judge. F a stupid mother and judge. I want trials by jury. Even if the jury is stupid, I'd rather deal with a jury than with a judge any day of the week. So I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a long weekend. Now I got myself a new tablet. I had another tablet. Now these two tablets are the exact same design. Not exactly, but they're the same design. And these two tablets, I want y'all to pay attention, are these super rugged tablets. You know, you can drop them from 10 feet and they're going to still be okay. They'll still work and so forth. So I got my two tablets and now I got to transfer uh, materials from one tablet to the next. That's what I was doing right now transferring materials from one tablet to, to, to the next tablets because you know that's what I do tablet transference all right so if you guys would pardon me because that's what I do I, I pardon people uh, I'm gonna leave you guys to your day because we got some things we got to take care of and when I leave you to your day I just want all of you to understand that my job is to help as many people as I possibly can and I'm trying some of you are working with me some of you are definitely working against me some of you are pieces of work in more ways than one okay and I am so sorry that that's the case with many of you but some of you are really kind-hearted sincere real people I mean, really, real people. Not the Byron Allen real people, but real people. And because some of you are real people, I don't so much salute you, but as saying thank you for being human and not being like those other people who want to nitpick and get ticky-tacky on every single wiki-wacky. It don't make no sense. We ain't got to challenge everything, everyone. We ain't got to challenge everything, everyone. We only have to challenge the important things. Not everything is important. Not everything is worth talking about. Not everything is worth challenging. Stop challenging everything. Okie dokie. All right. I got to go. I will speak to you guys the next time we have an opportunity. I want to thank you all for taking the opportunity of listening to this old man and by the way the videos with the volume I'm gonna do what I can because it takes a lot of minutes for them to remove songs and they do that on purpose and they only let you do one at a time so I have to wait and wait and wait so I'll do what I can because I definitely don't want to do those videos over again too much information alright gotta go gotta go gotta go